a developer of the Oxy Green Blaster and Bed Bug Destruct system. And I'm here with some of our newest system owners in Russellville, Arkansas. Uh, this is Bill Lawrence, and this is Brent Brady. Brent Brady, and he's Bill's go to guy. And they have done a few jobs only with the Oxy Green Blaster, but we were in Oklahoma yesterday at Moore, and we decided to pop on over and talk to these folks about their use of our equipment. And I know they they have done a few different types of projects, uh, starting with, uh, I think the first big job you got the system for was an odor job, which yes, is a was. little outside of mm -hmm. most of my pest control operators' systems. So would you mind telling the folks that might be out there? And well, we had a, a, a call from a company that, that there was a, a odor problem due to an infestation of mice and rats in a convenience store uh, atmosphere. And we were brought in to trap, remove, and uh, try to get the store back into shape because it had been closed down. And uh, basically what we did, we removed the rodents that were there, mm -hmm. but so many had died in the walls uh, from a previous company that had been there uh, that actually killed them rather than remove them by trapping. So then we were faced with the older problem. Mm -hmm. and this. Uh, business, which was a substantial business, could not open up Off. due to the problem. So we went in with, uh, this is 10,000 square foot building, very large building, very high ceilings, 30 foot ceilings. And we went in with four of the, of the older machines and basically left them for a time period, probably not as long as we should have. And we felt like that we were going to be in trouble but we had to get out of there due to the constraints of the alarm system and everything. Uh, right. I see. So we had to do it, and uh, lo and behold, it did work. Just like uh, you had told us in our interview over the phone and in the articles that we had read. So a substantial job, a lot of money made off of it uh, because of the odor removal. Well, that's awesome. And that's, you know... I have been talking to pest control operators for the last two and a half years about my system and why I think it's got advantages to some of the other techniques that are out there. And one of the hardest sales that I've had to do to most of my PCO, PMP customers is convincing them that there is literally lots of money, gobs of money lying around in terms of odor problems uh, with a lot of times their existing customer base. Yeah. And we were just chatting a few minutes ago before the camera got turned on, and you mentioned you have 25,000 residential apartments that you treat on a routine basis. Mm -hmm. And you work for property management companies. Right. And you know we have customers all over the world, literally on every continent except Antarctica, that are running odor removal businesses, just odor removal using our equipment. And so I highly encourage you, and I'm sure this is part of your marketing plan already, but to do a free job for each and every one of those property management companies. I would call them all up and I would let them know, we've got our, this new system for killing bed bugs, it's the cat's pajamas, but we can divide our system up and do up to five, six odor removal jobs at once, um, utilizing the same equipment. Because one of those machines, that you put in every room for killing bugs will do you know a 3,000 square foot house for odor mm -hmm. and so um, just by offering to do Mrs. Curry's Patel in 314 or the guy that died in 211 or Uncle Frankie's cigar apartment you know um, by teaching by demonstrating rather than telling um, them what you can do I think you'll start to get a lot of jobs we have a customer here in Arkansas and uh, his name is Larry. He's an odor removal guy. He's in a very low population area. There's only 300,000 people in a three hour radius from his house. In his very first year in odor removal, he did 500 jobs, strictly with apartments. Mm -hmm. And he got in with the property management companies. He gave away a lot of free work, but it turned into 500 odor removal jobs. Now, at $150 to $175, which is his target price range yeah. to keep, you gotta stay under the $200 level in odor removal for apartments if you want them to bite. Because over 200 bucks, they've gotta go up the property management chain to get a, a PO. But we've, uh, we've had calls, Charles, uh, 
before because of smokers in apartments. Smokers are perfect. And rather yeah. than go in and have to paint, paint and carpet. And so we've used the, the small machines prior to us purchasing the big machines. Yeah, I just think it can be a nice little staple. And if you don't have a bed, if you got bed bug jobs lined up, well, keep them more hammered yeah. on the bed bugs. But if you don't, uh, you know, it's a real nice way to add supplemental income. And the beautiful thing about odor removal is similar to one of the things that makes our bed bug system a little better. It's the lack of labor. Because to do an odor job is not a labor intensive no. process. You set the machine in the room, kick it on its 45 degree angle, turn on the blower, set the timer and leave. And you just come back at the five minute breakdown for doing that job. But I do want to do, what I wanted to talk to you about is you've told us and you've had a limited success using the system. You've only used it a few times on mm -hmm. the bed bugs. And you mentioned to me off camera that when you bought the system, you yeah. thought that I was God and I made these magic machines that you just turn on and all the bed bugs would just vanish into thin air. And what we really developed, folks, are serious tools that are capable of making more ozone than anyone else's machines on earth for less money. And that really every ozone project, whether you're talking sanitization, whether you're talking odor removal, or whether you're talking killing bugs, it's all a matter of space volume, gas volume, and time. In your first couple projects, you said you thought that you could cheat the, yeah, uh, we, we, Mr. Time. Yeah, we thought that we could skip some of the traditional steps that Brandon and I have been doing and our other technicians. Yes. And uh, we actually probably depended too much on the machines to yeah. do do what we what we were wanting to do. Plus, the infestations that we were in uh, were super super yeah. bad. Uh, what you have here in Arkansas, or probably every other place, that you have people that will go to Walmart and buy something. And if it was worth anything, we'd be using it. And so yes. we feel like maybe that maybe that they're building a resistance up to it, like the the German cockroach has in, in all over the world. You know, and so you got to, you got to do something different, and better. And we feel like there's been some exposure, which these people don't break a bed apart like Brent does. Yeah, uh, they don't take a couch apart like we do. They just spray what's there and. And hopefully they'll do them, and I just think that that's building up a resistance. Well, I mean, you said that the real reason you invested in the equipment is you were looking to become, if not what already are, the premier go-to bed bug guys for this whole state of, of Arkansas. Yeah. And um, you feel like the equipment may be able to give you that extra competitive edge that you you've probably had already with your experience and well, your thoroughness. But. We've, we've been approached by the heat guys, mm -hmm. but a lot of places that we go into, you're just not gonna be able to maintain a current that it takes for heat. You're gonna kick off breakers. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, a lot of these high rise and stuff we do 50, 60, 70 years old, you just can't do it. Yeah. And uh, the beauty of your thing is if they got a lamp plugged up, we can use that same outlet. That's right. And so we don't have to worry about running uh, extension cords with generators all down the halls and uh, having the trailers. We've got the box fans. We've got the box fans, you know, we can do all the heat with, but we've basically got a, a pickup truck set up now where mm -hmm. Brent and the other technicians can put everything in one pickup truck and we can go. And when we go in, they don't even know what we're doing. Yeah, they and that don't, they know what we're doing. And, uh, you know, somebody said, how do you need to put bed bug spaces on the side of your truck? Well, we don't want to. That. We can't do that. No. You know, you can't let your neighbor know and everybody else know that you got a problem. We run in that same thing in the so, mold remediation business. Right. Nobody, nobody wants to let people know right. they've got mold or bed bugs. You know, there's sort of the unspoken yeah. <laughs> yeah. problems that nobody, you don't want your neighbors to know about. Yeah. But uh, I, what I really like about you guys is your commitment to making the tools work because, you know, a screwdriver is a tool. And you know that you can hand that screwdriver to your wife and she is not going to be as effective at using that as you are. And every tool requires, you know, operational efficiency. And the only way you get it is through real world practice on the job doing real projects. And I, I know that you've got that commitment to excellence. 
and I'd like to help you develop this system and become, if not the biggest, yeah. the best, uh, pest control operators in the state. Well, I've been doing this for 30 some odd years, and uh, Brent's been doing it for 15. And the thing about it is, you don't see many people like you that come to us and offer the te technical support, uh, the visual support you're gonna give us, and then also the references that we can have with guys like Michael in Oklahoma. Thank God he's okay. Yeah, oh yeah. And, uh, and so it, it's, it's worked out good for us. And, and we, like you said, we wanna be the premier. Mm -hmm. And we want to have the system that, that's top of the line, whatever it takes. And with the technicians that we have, we, we run about 25, 28 technicians all over the state. So you know, we wanna be able to put these tools in their hands and be able to go in and do the job but have also the support, the well, phone support. One of the things that I really wanted, that I loved in our off the camera phone, uh, conversation is, you were telling us that you have been treating houses for mold and fungus mm -hmm. since 1984, mm -hmm. which makes you, no offense intended, a granddaddy in the mold remediation business because it really started to take off as an industry in the mid 90s. So you predate the huge wave or rush of people learning to do it. And it's another thing that I struggle with in teaching my system owners how to make this ozone equipment more effective at generating extra revenue. And because, you know, let's face it, bed bugs are no different than roaches or any other unwanted bug, other than the fact that they bite you and suck your blood. They're not even particularly hard to kill they're particularly hard to get the product on their back to kill. Uh, and correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. yeah, so what they are is they're good hiders. So pest control operators don't hate bed bugs any more than they hate roaches or anything else. It's just a bug to kill. The reason we like bed bugs is the ability to make money in chunks. And bed bugs give you that opportunity to make more than just your average service contract money mm -hmm. to create a payday that is a chunk of money. And that's those chunks of money with 25 technicians in the field are what really add up to, to help build a business into a wealthy business. Well, a lot of my customers are leaving really good money laying behind and in fact they're disservicing their customers whether they know it or not by not offering uh, fungal treatments. So I don't know if you wanted to tell any of these guys about your experience and how you've been able to make an extra bit of profit from some of your customers and improve their health. Yeah. Well, what we do, especially on our crawl spaces, you know, our guys are looking for anything for as an add-on if we're doing a, a termite inspection, a sure. termite inspection. And I think everyone should in yeah. this industry. And so if we find a, a, an area of the house where the bathroom commode's been leaking or whatever, then you have the mold and fungus or either there's not proper ventilation and you have it then it's just an add-on for us yes and so uh, uh, and then you'll have the odor problem that it's created and then you go in the closet and you know the wife say honey your shoes sure do stink or your boots well yeah. it's not his boots that's right it's back there in that zone it's uh, actually mold there now we do not do mold testing as far as whether it's toxic or non-toxic yeah. We just try to, we will just come in and we'll kill it or remove it. And treat the structure. And treat the structure. Yeah. And it, you said to me, you've been doing it since 1984 and still never had a callback. Never had a callback. And part of your success <laughs> is you discovered the same thing I discovered 14 years ago, is that one of the most effective products in absolutely eradicating the root structures of a mold infestation is the borate product line that virtually every pest control operator in America is already familiar with using, already has the tools to apply. So if you just take a little bit of extra time, get your guys certified to be inspectors, and let them know what to look for, this ozone equipment can open up a whole nother uh, revenue stream in the form of treating for toxic molds. And uh, you know, 
the stinky shoes in the closet. You can yeah. kill the roots underneath the uh, house in the crawl space and then let run the ozone machine in the upstairs. And that's another opportunity for a secondary payday. Just add it to having trained your men to be observant when they're doing their day-to-day -day work. Well, it's like animal removal. You know, when we get a call, there's a dead possum under the house. You know, we're going under there and putting him in a plastic sack. And then we're digging all the dirt up around it to try to get all the, uh, the maggots and everything else out. So this will probably just be another add-on for us. Absolutely. Where we can get everything out and then not have to worry about, you know, how we still smell him under there. That's right. Put the ozone in the crawl space hole. And Put the ozone in the crawl space hole and knock it out. Yeah. Well, Bill, that's all, but really all I wanted to go over with you because I thought that you have already done an amazing job at, at starting to develop the secondary markets before you've even become super awesome at using the equipment for the bed bug aspect. And to me, um, that just speaks volumes of the real opportunities that are there for regular pest control operators. And you're not a small time operator. You're a, a relatively large pest control operator. And so you can be a little mom and pop guy, you can be a big business, and you can still benefit from adding the Oxy Green Blaster and Bed Bug Destruct system to your toolkit. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.